I just got a 3D printer. I have no idea about modeling, but I have a plan to get a nest box for budget. I've always been fascinated with the idea of 3D printing my own toys, gadgets, and practical everyday items. That's why it hit me. Why not get a 3D printer and start printing useful objects for my budgie? And so I decided to give the Ender 3D printer a try. This is not a sponsored video. I wanted a 3D printer but I didn't know anything about 3D modeling. So now I am going to learn everything about 3D. Assembly was a breeze, with the only real challenge being the bed and extruder leveling for optimal prints. Thankfully, with the help of YouTube content creators, I was able to find all the solutions to the problems I encountered. It's amazing to see how far 3D printing technology has come. And I got a printed 3D bunny, and I can't wait to see what other cool and practical things I can create for my budgies and beyond. But wait, I don't know anything about 3D modeling. When I first started learning about 3D printing, I turned to online tutorials to help me get started. I quickly realized that the best way to learn was to challenge myself. I wanted to make a nest box for my budgies, and even though it seemed simple enough, just a few square shapes, I wanted to use wooden planks in my design. So, I turned to YouTube video tutorials to guide me along the way. I want to thank all YouTube tutorial creators. Thanks to them, in a matter of a few hours of learning, I was able to design and print closure for my 3D printer. And now a real challenge. To design a nest box for budgies. When I was searching for a nest box online for my budgies, I couldn't find one that was specifically designed for them. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and create a 20 by 20 by 20 centimeter nest box. The same dimensions as the ones I purchased at the pet store during my previous breeding season. But that's not all. I also need a stand for my webcam so that I can document the process of raising baby budgie chicks. So I decided to put my 3D printing skills to the test and design a custom stand that will allow us all to watch the chicks grow and thrive. I'm excited to see what I can create and share with all of you. A quick reminder, I am a 3D model and 3D printing designer since I got a 3D printer. So anyone can do it. Never underestimate yourself. So I began modeling. Plank by plank, brick by brick and here we go. I use slicer to prepare 3D model to 3D printer to read what to print. What I didn't know, this was faulty model. Before starting the 3D printing process, it's important to transfer all the necessary files onto the SD card and double check the extruder level. After all, with a print time of 11 hours, a mistake could mean a wasted effort. So better safe than sorry, right? Once everything's set, it's time to hit that print button. There were already weird lines. But just as we thought everything was going smoothly, I think I accidentally bumped a table and noticed some strange lines appearing on the print. So let's start all over again with minimum interference. As you may know, 3D printing can be a lengthy process. Fortunately, with video editing for you guys, you don't have to sit through all of it. It's important to maintain a stable printing environment with a consistent temperature and minimal airflow to achieve the best possible results with PLA filament for 3D printing. The next day... Good morning everyone! It is 7 in the morning and my print is finally finished! I have to admit, there were a few parts on this 3D model that I didn't quite fix in Blender, but considering this is my very first time ever creating a 3D object and then bringing it to life with my 3D printer, I couldn't help but feel a sense of joy and accomplishment. So this is pretty much 3D. I think I can use it when everything is assembled. And I'm going to just paint it everything. 
It's amazing to see something you've created on the computer screen come to life in the real world. I know I still have a lot to learn and improve upon. This is just the beginning of my 3D printing journey. And I decided to remodel a front side and print again. Needed to be reshaped so it's easier to print. Finally everything was in order. Opening is alright, then boom. Epic destruction. Then here we go again. Many unbearable hours later. As you can see this print failed and I have a new idea how to make a new print. A new idea is to print piece by piece. Then here we go again. And again. And again. Now I have all the parts. Now just to glue everything with super glue. And by the way, PLA is safe for pets and has been used for toys. I would not recommend using PLA for a water dish as the 3D printing process creates tiny holes in the material that can serve as breeding grounds for bacteria. For almost two weeks learning and 3D modeling and printing, I did it. I started printing from one piece and I have all pieces now and all I need is to assemble this. And by the way, the camera fits perfectly. This time I am not going to use super glue, I will use hot glue. I found it great for holding it all together. The plan was to make it all assembled by little joints, but maybe in the future version, what do you think? Finally painting. But first I am going to apply primer. Primer is a base coat used to help treat a surface before applying final acrylic colors. I am currently using acrylic paint. And I'm happy to inform you that it is completely safe for pets. Once the paint has dried, it becomes water resistant, ensuring that your artwork stays intact even if it's exposed to moisture. I have uploaded the 3D model files on Thingiverse, which you can easily download and print at your convenience and I printed these small cubes that are designed to securely hold the roof in place. And finally it's completed, almost ready for the budgie cage. But I need a hooks on this side of the nest box. I planned hooks, but failed to attach them in a 3D model. I am always using cat litter for bedding of the nest. It's bio-organic wood fibers that effectively absorb liquids and odors. And the camera works perfectly. Do you have any suggestions on what should I make next? And that's it, I hope I will see babies inside this nest box. See you in my next video. Thank you members for your amazing support. I would be grateful if you could spare a moment to check out my previous budgie video and consider subscribing.